here's what you guys have for today. Your assignment's gonna be here. And sorry, I sound a little stuffy. My nose, my allergies are killing me today. So right here for assignments for today the 17th. We are the 17th, right? Yep, yes, we are. So for math, let me go ahead and make that a little bit bigger. If you're not on this document yet, you should be on this document now. So you can see as I explain it to you. So when you go to assignments, so right now I need everyone to be on this document. I, I see four of you here. So what I did for math today and what I should have done yesterday too, and like I said, that was my fault. I gave you guys um, division help here on the document. So you have four videos that you can choose from to help you out. The very first one, like if you're really stuck in division, uh, this is one that you should be looking at the Mathantics basic division. So what you do is you go to the link and then you'll click on the words. So this one is the basic division. It shows you why we do the dominoes, what happens with division. Um, it, this one's like if you're really stuck in a beginner's level for division, this would be the video that you would want. And I'm going to remind you guys again, please have your videos on because there's four of you that, that have them off. I sound like a broken record. In a bit, you'll turn them off. Um, so yeah, right here, this first one. So if you're still having trouble with division, when you go to this paper here, and remember again, for those of you just joining in, it's right there for assignments 917. It's the first link. If you feel like you're kind of already a little bit past the beginner level, then you have the long division one, same guy, Math Antics. And then the other two videos, one of them, they're both from teachers. So you have this guy over here. He kind of does the problems for you. So when you watch this video, you see how there's four examples. So these four examples would be a good way for you to practice with him. So you would get your, your notebook and you can copy down the papers and do it with him. Now, the only thing is that these two guys, this guy and the other video where it says division help, they don't do the dominoes because they kind of expect you to already know that, but you should pause the video and do your dominoes with them in case you want extra practice so you can see where the numbers, but you see the checklist that they do is similar to us. We do dribble my super basketball carefully they do something a little bit different. They use the little R and when you watch those videos, you can see the, their style of doing it. But you see dribble my super basketball and then here's this one repeat. So they, they kind of use that um, saying to kind of, you know, in their own style, but it's similar to what we do. So I added those four videos right here for you. Now, again, the same thing um, for your math work today, you're gonna log into IXL and I kind of didn't explain really good how to log in properly, but just so to help make things easier for you, when you log into IXL, you should log in first. So like Jose, I'm gonna use your account as an example, Jose. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna log in first to my student account. So I'll log in first to my account, I'll be at this screen. Then an easier way, you go back to the Google Doc, you click the shortcut that I gave you here, and it'll take you straight to where you left off. Okay? So you should be having your ribbon here, at least a ribbon. Like Jose, like you don't have your ribbon here, mijo, that's not good. So you need to be sure that you guys have your ribbon at least today. Now today, you, granted, you'll have more time to get your medal today. T today in class, I'll give you more time to finish that um, in class. Once you get your medal here, or if you feel like you already advanced already, like if you feel you're ready for it, then you can come here. 
to D4. This is the one we're gonna do in, in class today, D4, because that one should have been yesterday. So this is the one that you'll be, we'll be working with story problems uh, on this one. So there's our math assignment. Um, this one should be first, let me put it in gold. Oops, no, that didn't come up here. I'll put it in red. Yeah, so this one should be coming out first. I don't know why it's not coming. So today we're gonna do D, D4. For science, you're gonna have a new um, assignment on here. It's right there, classifying matter playlist. So when you sign in to EduSmart, you're gonna click that link. You sign in, so Jose, let me use you as an example. When you go to district, because some people say, sir, I can't sign in to IXL. We got to go to district and you put WE and then there's Wesico. So once you sign in, here's your mission control. This should already be done. If you haven't turned it in yet, do it later. The one I need by today is this one, classifying matter. You can click the drop down menu and here are your assignments that you got to do. It's a, it's just the videos that we watch during the week. I just put them on there again to help you remember. So we have a video and then you have your review. Then you have the video review video review video review same thing right now after the last review for conductors and insulators i gave you guys two little labs to do these interactivities are labs so you're going to finish these labs and then finally you'll do the quiz uh right here it's like a short eight question quiz um i know it looks like a lot but trust me the videos are not even long the videos are like two minute videos the reviews are like three questions each so that, that's, this should take you no more than 30 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes to, to finish it. But this is going to be your grade. This is your quiz. Now, when you take your quiz, can you go back and use your Jamboard or the science playlist? Can you guys use those or no when you take your quiz? What do y'all think? Yes. So you can use your notes. You can go to the Jamboard if you have to, to look at your notes. Okay. Uh, yes, Jose. Uh, what was that, mijo? Because we have bad connection. I kind of heard half what you said. Can you say it again? To the app okay well i'll help you out uh separately for that you'll probably have to share your screen so i can show you where to click but do you guys have any questions for your science right here this is your science playlist just only do classifying matter if you guys have this the science investigation or the density don't do those the one i want today is this one it has everything here okay Right, so everyone should be at this document right here. Don't click anything yet, but everyone should be here because I don't see everyone here. So we're at this document. We're gonna go here to Thursday. And we're gonna do an example here. So go ahead and have your, your notes ready again. We're just gonna take down a, a few notes. And Bo, thank you, sir. Yesterday, I actually had assignments from you yesterday, Bo. Thank you. Good job. Bright kid. Smart kid, man. Just turn in your stuff. All right, so let's get this going. And I want us to do this together. And that's why I want to draw cameras on. So that way, it's, it's like if we're in the classroom, if I could see you and all that stuff, you know. So that's, that's why I asked for them to be on. After we do this example, then you guys will be free to go to IXL 
and you can work on your stuff. I remember for IXL, we're doing this, uh, we're doing this one, D4, the one in red, not D3, D4. That's what we're gonna do in class. So let's go here. So I chose a little shorter one and we're gonna practice using the get chart again. So for this one, it says, let me go ahead and get my annotation toolbar. And have you guys been watching the class recordings or no? Like a little bit to help you out for what we did? I hope so. It says, there are 848 people getting on board the Memphis Bell. How many rows of seats are needed for every person to sit? So on the first sentence, there are 848 people getting on board of the Memphis Bell. So if I look at this chart, it's giving me the rides. There's the Willie, I can't say that name. So there's Willie and here's Memphis Bell. Now, if you look at the Memphis Bell, it says four riders per row. There's that word per again. Whenever we see the word per, or whenever we see the word each, that should tell us automatically for us to make our get chart. So right now on your notebook, go ahead and write your get chart. Remember the G stands for groups and it means the division symbol. The each stands for division. So you put your division symbol here and there's your total. So be sure you guys are writing that down. Now the word per is like the word each, it means one. So what it means is in one row, there's gonna be four writers. So let me write this down. I'm gonna put a little star here. One row equals four writers. That's an equal sign right here. And then I also know right here, there's 848 people. And again, they're getting on this ride, the Memphis Bell. So I don't care about the Willie ride. I don't care about this one, the Memphis Bell. So the 848, how would that look like as a picture? It's like yesterday. I'm gonna do a total box. So I'm gonna draw a total box here to show you that it's 848 people. Now, I kind of already gave you the answer on where to put the 848 people. So in your get chart, where would you guys put the 848 people in the get chart? Would you guys put it in the groups, the each, or in the total? What do you guys think? Yeah. You would put the 848 people here in your total box. Now our question wants to know how many rows of seats are needed for every person to sit down. Well, let's go back in, in the story and look at what we know. I know that in one row there can be four riders. So where would I put this information here, the one row and four riders? Where would that go in my get chart? I have two slots open. Would, that, would I put that in the groups or in the each? What do y'all think? I heard someone say groups, any other thoughts? Where would I put the four riders? What do y'all think? In the groups, if you look right here, do you guys remember why I put a number one next to the letter E? There's a number one next to E because in each, it means for one person, for one group, one row, one table. So if we look right here, one row is four riders. So if I see per or each, I know that's gonna go here. So when it says four riders per row, that means in one row there's four riders. So on my get chart, it's not my groups, it's the each. So I'm gonna put the four riders here in the each. Here's how it looked like in a picture. In the picture, I'm gonna draw a little box and this is one row. Inside that one row, there's gonna be four people in there, four riders. And look at your question. Your question's asking for how many rows are there gonna be there? So I don't know the rows. I'm gonna put here dot, 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 question mark. I don't know how many rows. 
that would be. So in my get chart, I am missing the groups. The groups in this story are going to be rows. Are you writing this down, Jaden? I hope so. So that's how your get chart will look like if you're missing your groups. This is how your picture will look like if you're missing your groups. You see how I put the to be continued in my groups? That's what it'll look like. In your second example, I'll show you what it's gonna look like if you're missing the each. It's gonna be using the same numbers, but I'll show you how it'll look like if you're missing the, the, the each. All right, so we should have this down already. I'm gonna go ahead and erase this. And we're actually going to divide now. We're going to get 848 divided by 4. Eight hundred forty-eight divided by 4. This is division time. There's my satellite dish. Hundred twelve. We'll see right now. So let's see if his theory or his hypothesis is correct. Can you guys tell me what am I going to make my dominoes of? What number? Four, right? You look at the number outside. And a good stopping point is at four times five. Eli says he's correct. Let's see, here's four. Four times two is eight. Four times three is 12. And remember you can use your dots. So like if I don't know four times four, I get 12. I add four more and that's 16. And then if I don't know what four times five is, I'll get 16 and I'll add four more. So that's 20. Okay, so I'll get 20. So when I go over here, start at the first digit. Is it bigger than the one outside the house? Yes, I can do it. So then I'll ask myself what number times four can equal eight? Oh, right here, perfect match. So I put the triangle on the two, put the two on the roof, I just divided, check. Now I'm gonna multiply two times four, eight. My answer is also here too. Check, subtract, eight minus eight, zero. Check, bring down the four. Check, I already did my first step in division. So now I have a new division problem. My new division problem now is four divided by four. So I need to ask myself, what number times four can equal four? Oh, right here, perfect match. One, so I put the one on the roof, I just divided, check. Same steps again. One times four equals four. Check, what's next, subtract. Four minus four, zero. Check, bring down. Let's bring down the eight. So, so far, Christian, you're right. We have the 200 and then we'll see right here. So we have eight divided by four. We already figured that out last time. It's right here. It's two because I need to find a number closest to eight. So I put the two on the roof. Let me use a different color. Put the two on the roof. I just divided, check. Then I multiply again the two in green times four is eight again. You subtract, eight minus eight, zero. Check, there's nothing left to bring down, and you're done. There's no remainder. It's a perfect match. So here, I'll get my number. If I wanna check my work, two ti 212 times four. When I check my work, I should get 848. 
2 times 4 is 8, 4 times 1 is 4, 2 times 4 again is 8. Yep, so 200, 212 um, rows are there. That was what we were missing earlier, the rows, the groups. There would be 212 groups. Good job. Let me show you what your picture will look like if you're missing the each. Because in this example, we were missing the groups. So let me show you what, you, it, what it will look like if you're missing the each. So go ahead and write another get chart here. So let's say that this time that I have my groups. So let's say that I have four in my groups. Let's say this is four rows and I have 848 um, people. And I'm missing my each. This is how your picture will look different. Because in division, you're either gonna be missing your groups or you're gonna be missing your each. So the pictures are gonna look a little bit different. We have 848 people, and if I already know my groups, I'm gonna draw four groups. You see how it's already different from the last one? Now, if I'm missing each, I can put a little question mark here to show that I'm missing the people inside each row. That's what it'll look like if you're missing, and then you would divide it again. But you see the difference between those two? <coughs> okay. Questions, comments? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and erase this. So here's what you guys are gonna do for me right now. Until we have our science block, I want you guys to spend your time working on IXL. <clears throat> so again, I'm gonna show you again how to sign in. So I hope everyone's paying attention. You're gonna to go to here to IXL, you click it, sign into your account. Yeah, you have, we're gonna do math first. So start in the red, start with D4, but first sign in. Let me go ahead and sign in with Jose's. I always misspell Jose's wrong all the time. There we go. Yeah, for this one, just get the ribbon. Let, let me know when you get the ribbon. Plus, I'll see it on my screen once you got just when you get one ribbon uh, for now. All right. So once you see that ribbon pop up, then you're, you're done. Is that is that clear for everyone? If you can get the medal, that's even better. But after I signed in, so I already signed in, right? So now I'm going to go here to number two in red and click the link and start working on it. There, there it's gonna be at, right there. Uh, Jose, you're the only one that I want you working on, and this is only for Jose. Jose, I want you doing D3, okay? When you sign in, you go to D3. Do, do this one first, okay, mijo? D3, everyone else, you, you'll do D4. So I want everyone to, to work on that right now. Now you can. <laughs> 